Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Ahabu tafillah. Continue on our study of the treaties, the methodology of the Salaf. Salaf as Sadeh and the Ummah's need for it. We reached the portion of the treaties where Imam Fulzan was referring to the importance of adhering to the Medheb of the Salaf and that those, he was explaining the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَذِينَ اَعْتَبُهُمْ bihsan," And those who follow them exactly in faith, that the this is in reference to the Salaf and those who came after them. Those who adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the way of the Salaf of this Ummah which is a path of perfection. It's a path of, a per, uh, of perfection meaning that the path is perfect but as individuals we fall short. But they, those Imams, they adhered perfectly to that Medhab although they as individuals we make mistakes and this is in accordance with the nasus where the prophet sallallahu said kullu ibn adam khatta wa khayran khata'ina tawabun all the children of adam make mistakes and the best of those who make mistakes or sin are those who repent so this shows us a habitifillah important to make toba often make istighfar often because it's not sufficient that we make a claim. And it's also important for us to know and understand we have taqsir, we have mistakes. As individuals, we make mistakes. And that those mistakes do not easily remove you from salafiyah. Understand that as well. That it is not a simple matter. Although someone can leave the minhaj easily, but what I'm referring to is that we should never be quick to take someone off the min minhaj of the salaf for a mistake that they had. Even if it was a mistake in i'tiqad, that they should be given an opportunity to correct themselves, bi'idhnillah. Or that they should be given the da'wah, you know, especially. And this is in the case, I understand what I'm saying. This is in the case of someone who is known for their salafiyah who's known for being an adherent to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is what they're known for. We know and understand them to be that. But they fell into an error in creed, in itaqad even, aqidah. Or they fell into an error in minhaj, yes. So perhaps from their ijtihad, perhaps from an, an issue that they're not proficient in, that they have some ignorance with regards, whatever the case may be, they should be given the opportunity because it's not for you and I just to take this one off and that one off to say this one is on it and that one's off it that's not really our place that's not really our job although we have to make assessments we do Ahlul Sunnah Yahkum al Zahir they make judgments on what what seems apparent to them at the same time spending excessive time in energy with taking people off the sunnah and putting people on the sunnah is not something for everyone to involve themselves with and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success I mean you Rabbil Alameen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said is قَالْ وَلَا تَتَّبِيُوا السُّبُولْ فَتَفَرَّقَ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and follow not other paths for they will separate you away from his path. Meaning that following other deviant ideologies, other deviant madhabs, deviant ways of understanding Islam, ways that go away from the usul and the furor that is was adhered to by the Salaf of this Ummah, that this can lead you astray. And this will lead you astray. Sheikh Salman Fozen said, This is the path of Allah, and other paths are deviate, deviated and astray. Upon them are devils who call the people to deviation. So, this is why, and also, you find that 
often you find from ulama of Ahlul Sunnah, some of them, and you find from uh, du'a to Ahlul Sunnah that they might speak harsh about those who oppose the methodology in the minhaj of Ahlul Sunnah. That they have deviant, they call it dhal mudil, that they are misguided and they misguide others. And this is the this is the reality of the matter. Because someone could have something from the sunnah, but they have a deviant minhaj, methodology and calling. And they have mistakes that are unacceptable. And they call to that persistent, persistently and consistently and lead others astray. Meaning they are misguided and they misguide others. So we have to be careful of the devils because the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, described them when he drew in the sand. Uh, he mentioned in the hadith uh, regarding the straight path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet وسلم, warned against these deviant callers. They want to lead the people astray and divert them from the way of the Salaf. The Prophet وسلم, informed us that they are devils at the gates of hellfire and whoever obeys them will enter the fire. This is a major warning against them, especially as time goes on and Islam becomes stranger. The trials and calamities increase, and thus the Muslims are in dire need of the way of the Salaf. From amongst these deviants are those who say, everyone is Muslim. Yes, but upon which path? If the Muslims were upon the path of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, this would be acceptable. But them... Uh, but them merely having Muslim names why they are upon a devious path they are upon the path of so and so and so uh, a deviant then indeed the Muslims are traversing a path which will lead them to the hellfire this indicates that the affair is not merely ascribing to Islam so it's not sufficient again as we mentioned ascribing just to Islam I'm Muslim I'm from Ahlul Sunnah I'm Salafi but your practice and your allegiance is other than that a person's ascribing to Islam cannot be valid unless he obtains beneficial knowledge, al nafia and unless he focuses on learning the way of the Salaf. For this reason, you find that the scholars focus on Aqidah and its various chapters, branches, and issues. They authored extensive works in Aqidah and summarized works for the purpose of educating people about the way of the Salaf, focusing on it and the importance of adhering to it and being steadfast upon it. Consequently, this issue is in dire need of focus and concentration, especially due to the fact that deviation and darkness has become widespread. The Muslim is in dire need of the light that will guide him through the darkness, deviation, and ignorance. So I advise myself and my brothers and sisters to seek knowledge. Seek knowledge. Because that is the path of salvation. That is the path that will help you to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and know the and understand the correct way to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That will help you in your ubudiyah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in your ibadah of Allah. This will help you in your servitude towards your Lord. We're not calling you to be servitude to men. We're not calling you to be servitude to this one or that one, but to Allah Azza wa Jal. And everything, other authorities fall under that. The authority of the leader, the Muslim ruler, or whoever's charged in authority over you that calls you to good. You have to obey them because they're calling you to good. Or your parents. That authority has been legitimized. It's from our fitrah. And on top of that, it has been uh, authorized by and commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا قَالَ رَبُّكُمْ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ بِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And your Lord has ordered you to worship Him and Him alone. To worship none other except Him. And be uh, righteous towards one's parents. Today you have many individuals who are self-taught and claim to have knowledge and understanding. These individuals have not gained knowledge from its proper source and foundation. Instead they have gained knowledge from individuals who are similar to them, from books or from culture as they say. This manner of gaining knowledge does not lead to good, nor does it lead to the correct path. It is an incumbent upon 
the individual to accurately learn the way of the Salaf in order to adhere and abide by it. It is mandatory, obligatory, that you display patience upon which befalls you while traversing this path from blame, belittlement, and other than these. You presently hear abuse and criticism against those who adhere to the methodology of the Salaf. People mention that the person who adheres to this way is old-fashioned and behind the times. Do not be swayed away from the truth by such mockery and falsehood. Hold fast, hold steadfast to the safe methodology because it is the path of salvation. Because of this, the Prophet wasallam said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnati wa sunnati al-khulafai al-rashidin al-mahdiin min ba'di. Tamasuku biha wa adu alayha bi nawajid. The Prophet said, It is upon you to adhere to my sunnah and the sunnah of my rightly guided khulafa. After me, hold steadfast to it with your molar teeth. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who adhere to the, the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and guide us and protect us from laziness and protect us from deviance and protect us from causing others to be uh, deviant.